Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about this WE120 Precision Sharpener brought to you by Wicked Edge. I have been utilizing Wicked Edge products for approximately the last four years, and I've been very happy with the performance of the Wicked Edge products. Now, I recently added this Wicked Edge 120 Sharpener to my collection, and I've been having a lot of success with it. But one thing that I noticed while I'm searching around online and even comments that I've been receiving on YouTube and on my website, people are having issues actually setting it up and uh, getting it to work the way that it should actually work. So I want to take a few minutes today and just go over more of a simple tutorial on how I utilize this Wicked Edge 120. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Before I even really get into it, I own the Wicked Edge 130. A precision sharpener and uh, it has performed extremely well but the big difference between the 130 and the 120 is that there's a uh, considerable price difference where the 130 is much more expensive and at the same time this WE120 sharpener that comes in uh, substantially less as far as cost performs just as well and to be honest with you I found more versatility and flexibility utilizing this WE120 than I actually did with the more expensive 130. So I'm going to be going over the specific setup for the WE120. If you want to learn more about sharpening and finding the edge of the knife, what you can do is actually check out my initial review that I did utilizing the WE130 because uh, basically after the initial setup, they both operate relatively the same. So if you do want to get that information, rather than me reiterating it all over again, go ahead and check out my review. You'll find it right now in the top right. When it comes to the vise, or let's say the jaws on this WE120, you have one that actually with the screws going in that is fixed, okay, this doesn't move. And then on the other side, as far as the other part of the vise, not only will it move out, but it also pivots on the bottom. It gives you greater flexibility in the choices as far as the blades that you choose to utilize with the sharpener. The WE120 has two different screws. So we'll start off with the top one, which is actually called the pivot screw. So if you were to insert, let's say, your gap tool here, and let's say we have our uh, blade here for training purposes, which is actually extremely dull. As I put it in here, you can tell that this screw will allow this to pivot and also be able to set the width for your blade. Now, this bottom screw here is called the jack screw because as you, uh, let's say, tighten it up, it basically jacks this free end of the vise, causing it to cinch up here on top. So allowing the pivot screw on top to actually pivot and tighten up, basically creating a fulcrum, utilizing a bunch of different levers. All right, so getting set up here now to sharpen our blade. So once again, the screws are loosened and out. And what I like to do is get my blade, place it in between the jaws here, and then just with my index finger, gently press it over. Now I'll take my Allen key here and the tool that comes with the kit and I'm just going to bring that screw across just so that it barely touches that jaw okay so just a little bit there I'm gonna let go we're good to go there now I'll go ahead and get my little gap tool place it up here placing my blade in the top here and now I'm going to go ahead and tighten the top screw Okay, so once again, not that much turning. You don't want to crank it. You don't want to overturn it just so that it's snug. Okay, still a little movement here. Now I go down to the bottom and I tighten, as you can tell, just a quarter turn just so that it's snug. Once again, not over cranking. There's no need for that. Take a feel here. And as you can tell, just by that alone, and this is a pretty heavy setup, I'm able to lift. And that's all there really is to it as far as getting yourself set up. Once again, I'm not going to go into the actual sharpening process. You'll be able to see that in my previous video if you are interested in looking at that setup. And then to get my blade out, I just get here to the bottom, reverse that little quarter turn, and I'm good to go. Blade is out. Now I contacted Wicked Edge and asked them why such a big price difference, considering that this 120 works for me just as well and in some scenarios even better than the 130. Well, Wicked Edge basically simply just told me that these 120s are less expensive to produce. Nothing to do with the quality, nothing to do with the build. It's just easier to produce and manufacture, and they pass on those savings to us. So hopefully I was able to give you enough feedback 
in order to get the most out of your WE120 sharpener. So if you're in the market for a precision sharpener from Wicked Edge, definitely take a look at this WE120. It has been performing really well, as you could tell, relatively simple setup, and I get all of my blades wicked sharp. I will put much more details on this Wicked Edge sharpener on my blog post, so be sure to check it out. I will place that link in the description as well as in the comments field below.